This is a walk around my greenhouse that I just put together. Uh, these greenhouses are all made overseas. Uh, the retailer basically stamps their name on them. Uh, this is the Out Sunny greenhouse, O U T S U N N Y. Took me six hours to put together by myself. Um, I'll show you some of the things that I did. If you're interested in one of these kinds of greenhouses, uh, you may be, you may want to do some of these things as well. So one of the first things I did was I mounted the whole green after I put the greenhouse together. I mounted it on four by fours, treated four by fours, and inside and outside I put Loctite. Um, that is Loctite uh, 1390595, the adhesive sealant. And I've seen too many videos of these things blowing away, and I want to make sure that didn't happen. You'll also notice that I put eye hooks here. I got them on all four sides of the greenhouse. And that allows me to take my tractor and um, pull the greenhouse where I want it. And I think probably a good sized garden tractor would also pull this greenhouse without too much effort. Uh, I do have a tarp shoved underneath it as well on one side and it's just the right length to go all the way across the top and then attach uh, to the eye hooks on the other side as well so that helps me to be able to tarp it whenever the weather's inclement or on nights where it's gonna be really really cold and I want to uh, keep the heat in so let's go inside and you will notice that this greenhouse I have caulked Caulk the far out of it. I don't know how to say it any, any way else, but every panel is caulked inside and out. So, and I'm not a very good caulker, so please just ignore the caulking job. Now, when I first started caulking, I did use the DAP caulking. Um, right? And it didn't take long before I figured out that that wasn't any good. That's the DAP Dynaflex that you can use for windows and things. Uh, what ended up happening was it started raining. I mean, this was a week out, and I would have thought that the caulking would have been um, uh, in good enough or cured enough not to have uh, caused me any issues, but it did. It started, if you can see through here, that damp caulking started um, bleeding, basically. So I switched over to the GE GO12A silicone caulking. And uh, I'm, most of this uh, greenhouse was done with that caulking. I used about 10 tubes of the caulking, the GE, and uh, around the outside when we were talking about the Loctite, I used two tubes of the Loctite. Also, two weeks in, I noticed that the bolts and nuts on the inside were starting to rust. So I went ahead and caulked those as well to to help prevent them from rusting so much because if I did want to take this apart and the nuts and bolts were um, were rusted it would be a lot more difficult uh, the vent system it doesn't close really really well so I basically uh, went around the edges with some more caulking and basically created a seal that I can just pull down I seen another lady who had one of these video uh, these greenhouses in a video put a string right here to pull it down tight that was a good idea and it works well so I got a piece of paracord there for that okay now as far as the directions for the out sunny these are the directions that uh, comes with a parts list and when you actually look at the directions they're just pictures. So, the best thing to do is when you get to this greenhouse is to line out all your parts by number order. Uh, don't freak out if you go through there and you got them all laid out. There's like what? Uh, 25, 25 uh, about 42 different parts. And you got them all laid out and you, you think you go 9, 10, 11, 13. Like, oh my goodness, I'm missing 12. What they've done is they've put 11 and 12 together and they're wrapped together so it looks like they're missing but they're not and when you start taking the plastic off of them you'll see that so uh, don't freak out it's they're probably there uh, let me look at my notes <laughs> that is a milk house heater they're about 20 bucks it seems to do a pretty good job um, keeping it warm in here but you know milk house heaters uh, they their thermostat works on a temperature range 
so they're not digital. Uh, so it stays between 65 and 75 degrees in here basically right now. That's what I've got set at. Now, the inside of the greenhouse, one thing I do like about this is it's got these rails. They're just the way that's made. And that allows me to clip things. I've got two lamps clipped right here now. And you could also hang baskets from here. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So we got a, this runs all across the top. Um, on the two sides over here, there's, there's some as well. Let's see, where else is there some? Uh, we're around the door there as well. I went with the door feature. I, I wanted the door with hinges. I didn't want to use the the sliding door feature and uh, I did that mostly because I, I ran a line of caulking around the door basically to seal it, help seal it. So that's about it. Now these shelves they did not come with the unit. These actually came from a uh, older greenhouse that I had. Uh, one of those with the plastic vinyl basically. This was a Costaway and uh, great little greenhouses but they will take off with you. Take, you know the wind can carry those away pretty quick. Uh, one other thing and now these shelves I was looking online for some shelves. Hello kitty. <laughs> I was looking online for some shelves and they were running for greenhouse shelves 75 80 bucks and I thought that was crazy and then these popped up. This is actually shoe, shoe racks. Uh, they are $9 online. So I bought two of them and I think they're going to work really, really well. So kind of pleased about that. So this is basically the Out Sunny Greenhouse. Um, if you get one, I suggest don't spare the caulk. You know, the caulking is what's going to keep it together basically and keeping it nailed down to, or glued down in my case, to um, some 4x4s to keep it from taking off in the wind. I expect to get four or five years out of this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Bye. Kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. Hello.